We are here at the uh, Azalea Dying Lambesis compound in somewhere in Southern California, way Southern California, near the border, I think. Uh, and as it would be, Azalea Dying is making a new record, so we're standing here with lead singer Mr. Tim Lambesis. Uh, tell us a little bit about the new record that you're recording right now. Am I allowed to uh, release the album title? We'll get to that in a minute. Hold off here. Right. Let's just talk about the process first a little bit. Just, just wait. We have a minute. All right. Well, uh, you know, as, as with every record, we start with the drums first, naturally, and we did the drums at a friend of our studio, also in San Diego. But after that, we decided, okay, in order to be the most productive, we're going to have guitars recorded at one place while the vocals are also being recorded at another place. And so I built another studio for this project specifically, and we've been pretty productive, which I think, for you, maybe you think you would have been doing this whole time. If we've been productive, why has it been a couple months? But uh, it's, it's because the songs are really just, I think, that layered and that, that interesting, and uh, there's just so much to add to it, and I'm looking forward to everybody hearing it. Yeah, this way, clearly, you know, as a singer, you don't have to come into the end. It's like, okay, you have these five dates, everything else is done, and we're almost at the end. Yeah. Hurry, hurry, hurry. So that's going to be a big luxury for you, too, to be able to take your time and, you know, not have to stress out towards the end of the whole process. Yeah. Well, with every previous record, it was, you know, it was like, we wanted to put a lot of priority on guitars because, you know, we write from the guitar player's perspective. And so when it came to doing vocals, it was, you know, even though we had the intention of putting priority on it, it was always this kind of afterthought. Um, Especially to me, on earlier records, me being involved in production, I, I didn't really even put on the vocalist hat until the last minute, and sometimes I wouldn't even have lyrics or ideas, and I'd kind of be coming up with them on the spot. And this time around, I got to put all my energy into the vocals while Phil and Nick were over here shredding away, so it worked out perfect. And uh, again, Adam D is producing. Why do you like to work with Adam D so much? I think there's a or not. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a good there's a good blend of being comfortable, but also having somebody. Um, you know who can rock the boat a little bit with a different opinion. You know, because with Adam, we've known him long enough from touring with Killswitch. Um, you know, we respect his opinion. A lot of guys they'll come in and cut, try to rock the boat and throw in all these new ideas, and and because you don't necessarily have that respect for them, you're kind of like, ah, your ideas are stupid. We'll just, you know, we'll, we'll do what we do. And I think this is an Asla Dying album, absolutely, but it's got uh, you know some of that input kind of getting to the point a little quicker. Adam's good at trimming the fat. I've been working with Adam and also Daniel Castleman recording vocals, but Adam will help me come in, to kind of do the, the finishing touches on. You know, hey, here's a here's a pattern that you seem to be doing throughout the song. Why don't the third time around? Why don't you kind of mix it up and, and just uh, adding things that I might not have thought of. And again, as with the last album, uh, you have Colin Richardson mixing it, but this is a little bit different. Like last time, Colin mi mixed at his own studio back in uh, the UK, but now he's coming down here to San Diego. What was involved in the process of him actually coming here to mix it? Yeah, well, in the the touring machine that we are at the last album, we we intended to spend some time with Colin and. Uh, you know, make it more personal, but we had we had a tour booked and next thing we knew we went right from recording to being on the road And this time around we wanted to avoid that not because Colin did a bad job. He did a phenomenal job but The communication was pretty difficult and so um, This time he's actually gonna come here. He's gonna be in San Diego staying it staying with one of us recording it or mixing it at my studio and uh, I think that uh, it'll have that amazing mix that Colin always has but kind of a little more of a personal touch uh, You know because we'll just be able to be present and, you know, normally, you know, February in the UK versus February in San Diego, usually pretty nice. But as you can see from outside, although it's finally stopped raining, it's been raining here for like a week, so not so good. So now, um, I guess we're, we're going to do here the most important thing, other than talking and chatting about this new record, is you're going to tell us the album title. Oh. Whereas the, we needed Jordan and a little drum roll here. So yeah. tell us the album title and, you know, how you came up with it, what, if, it if there's any specific meaning to it, or if it's just like, hey, it was just something that... We liked. And here we go. The Azalea Dying new record is called The Powerless Rise. Yay! Oh. But uh, yeah, no, it's funny because, um, you know, when I was first uh, messing around with the idea, it, it actually came from a different song that had that as one of the lyrics within the song. And Nick pointed out that he liked that, that portion of the lyrics better than the actual song title. Uh, and so we, we kind of, uh, you know, flipped around, decided to make that the album title. Um, yeah, but the, the meaning of, of that song is really kind of uh, representative of, of a theme running throughout the whole album, and that is just that there's a lot of things in society that would actually be better backwards. You know, it, instead of um, strength being this big prideful, you know, the, the way that what we normally revere in society is usually very, very strong and very proud, and that maybe the humble and the, uh, the simplicity of, of life, you know, people that are, that are willing to not necessarily consume everything, but, but to, uh, you know, to, to realize that there's... There's a, there's a different type of strength within community and within simplicity, and uh, it's about the rise of that way of thinking. 
So now, it, which makes sense. Instead of you know people rising through power and intimidation and strength and all those things that you kind of do, it's like the powerless rise. It's kind of the more natural, humble way to do it, which is, I think, a good message just in itself. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it, and it's it's cool too because it it has a like very to me a very community kind of feel to it. The way that uh, this type of rise only really happens when when people stick together, and it is it is realizing that individually you know we, we're not a whole you know we're not whole and so we as a community there's so much we can do even with a, a simple way of living to make to make life full and you know fulfilled and meaningful awesome so there you have it a little news about the new as of the dying record there's the title coming out sometime in april or may we're still not exactly sure yet but check metalbay.com as dying.com all these other websites and you'll find out see ya <laughs>